Bruce. Bruce Lee's Jeet Kune Do Sidekick. You asked for it, and here it is. Now, Sidekick is one of the most powerful kicking techniques in the art of JKD. The reason for it is because you're using your whole body weight going towards the opponent. You watch the Enter the Dragon, you watch the Return of Dragon from Bruce's movie, how he sends someone flying with a sidekick. It's one of, mo one of Bruce Lee's signature kicks. It's also one of the most difficult kicks to master. And I'll explain why, and also what are some of the body mechanics that you need to be aware of today. So first, let me just show you how do you do that. Now, there are actually three types of sidekicks in JKD. Let me show you the most powerful one first, and then I'll show you the other two. It's less powerful, but I believe it's actually more, more practical and more applicable to what we want to do. So with the sidekick, you can see to generate power, you want to have your full body going towards the target. So if Shin is holding a pad like something like this, you probably don't want to kick here. You want to kick somewhere, somewhere the energy like that. Now obviously it's not like when we are fighting or sparring, you're gonna like fly and jump in and do all of that. But it's a good way to practice. See if you can kick with power. Just full power, over cue motion, exaggerate so you can send someone flying and have all your body weight. You're learning to transfer your body weight to the target. Later on, when you're, when you're better, you're not gonna jump from here and do all of that. You'll be probably from here, it's more like that kind of motion, but for now, it's okay. You learn to do that. So here's a technique. From here, you will take your wheel foot, your, your wheel foot, cross behind cross behind. You don't cross the front. Sometimes you do it here, but for now, just learn it behind. From here, you notice my heel is up. Okay, notice my heel is up. You can see that, heel is up. So as I jumped, this goes in, imagine, so Jack join, join me, so you can see. Jack has got three years of Thai, uh, thai, thai boxing experience, but side kick is new to you, right? You do the chin kick, yes. so it's front kick he knows, but this is new, so which is perfect, because then I can also show you how it's done properly. So try that, Jack, from here. Yeah, and then you lift this up. Imagine almost your knee want to touch your chest. Just do this motion first. So just for now, all I want you to do is this. Yeah, try that again. Don't kick, yeah, just like that. Try that. So you want to practice this a lot. So if I'm looking at the camera, I'm facing you, right? You see here, see how this lift is this high, this high. So it will look something like this from here, just like that. See, you see my body like that. Try that. Okay. Try that. Yeah. Then after you this, this, then when you extend the foot, from here, you go put all your energy. It's like, imagine making a circle. Boom, like that. So from here, boom, you see that? See my body? It's contract and then expand. That's what, so it is not push. It's not a push, that's wrong. It's contract and bam, expand. Exaggerate, right? Boom, bam, the energy. And you let all the energy, your weight, going forward, right? Going forward. So imagine it's a ball, you contract, and boom, you explode, right? Try that. So just kick all the way in? Yeah, all the way in. Give it, it's a 30, 40% power. Okay. Forget about power first. Yes. Try it again. Yeah. Yeah. Slow down. Take your time, take your time. Take your time. 
Yeah. Try again. Yeah. And make sure you, when you're kicking, it's the heel of your foot. Heel. heel of your foot. You're driving in. So you're driving in. So not, not, not here. The heel. Nice. Try that again. Not bad. Your partner who's still holding the shield, don't hold it and just let it relax and let it glow. Ideally, if you can time your weight, sometimes you cannot always hit it that bang on, but if you can time your weight as you this drop, it hits at the same time. So as this drop, this hits at the same time. Because then you let your whole body weight hit at the same time, right? So a little bit lower. Better? That's a good one. So as a partner, you can tell mm, that one was good or that one wasn't good, right? Try a couple more. Yeah, that's good. So you can you can hear you can feel that. And now when you extend your leg, imagine you are kicking through the guy. Okay, not just forget this part. Imagine you're actually kicking this part, and then you just relax, right? Relax, boom, right? Relax, right? Just relax, let it, and look Look at my motion. It's not very, it's very, yeah. it's like water, right? It's like imagine throwing a bucket of water, like that. Good, better. Relax a bit more. That's more, that's better. That one's pretty good. Yeah, make sure, jump. Now, widen the lens a bit. Let me show you how much distance you could cover. Can you see me okay? Okay, so watch. So how far, you can see from, from the movie, see how far? Almost four steps, right? So imagine I'm here, this far, I take a step forward from here, see how much distance it covers, right? From here, right, how much distance it could cover. That's why this, this is the power of that kick. You think we're that far, he can't touch me, but actually, I'm there already. One more time. Up here? Yeah. It's a, it's a little bit harder for accuracy, right? Yeah. Try that again. Better. One more. Good. So that's the first with the jump step, side kick. Now the second side kick that you could do, which is more practical once you get used to this, the power, the bone mechanic, you learn how to use the hip. Now you do want to do it from a, like a closer distance. Now this side kick, we're not doing this. We're simply lifting and kicking at the same time. So look at my hip motion, right? So I'm lifting and I'm kicking at the same time. At the same time, I'm turning the ball of my foot. Ball of my foot, see that? See that, okay? So I'm here, like that. So from here, like that. Now, why is this so good? This is, could be a, you're doing your technique, right? From here, you can just kick or as he's coming forward, you can just stop. It's like a stop kick. So not boom, just like that, right? Just boom, like that. Try that. So just lift and kick, right? Yeah, it's lift and then lift do it. Yes, try that again. It's not an easy kick. It's very hard. Yeah, and almost feel like you are lifting up and, and just forward, right? boom. Yeah, you see how that my, my momentum is like that. Good. One more time. So application wise, application wise. So here, so when someone attacks this, he does not wearing anything. I don't because I've actually kicked someone I spar with. I broke his whip one time, so I'm very careful with this. 
So when you're practicing, be very, very careful because this stuff, you like, if you're like, how, how many pounds are you, Jack? Two, uh, 190. 190, right? You kick someone with power, it could be two, three hundred pounds. So be very, very careful when you're practicing. So when I practice, I, if he's not wearing anything, I just tap, right? So try again. Right, one more time. Right, one more time. Now sometimes, this, again, from here, he would think you might not be able to kick from this distance, but actually you could, right? Could be the ribs, could be also here to stop him, right? Go of course, stop kick. So that's the second kick. It's a shorter distance, more explosive. Now third one, which is the well-known stop kick in JKD, T-Tech. This is not so much a kick, it's more a, a stop. So we don't have as much as retract motion. We just kind of lift that leg up. Now, some people like to do it the side way, I showed you. They like to do it the side way like that. I don't like that because I find that when I do this, come, it takes a long time to recover. That's just my own experience. I much prefer if you put it on the shin. Yeah, so some people would do it like that and then they come back this way. I much prefer to do the 45. My foot is 45. See, it's 45. And notice this, I'm not bending my, my knees. It just like, there, it just stops. So he comes forward, boom, just stops him and then you kick, just like that. So without this, so slow, I wish looks on so slow. It just to stop him, right? One more time. And my, see, see my, and my, my energy is slowly forward, 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 okay. Try that. Be very careful. Just on the shin, yeah. Head on, head on, face to face. Yeah, face to face. So we can just do the side, yeah, doesn't matter. But right, right leg forward, yeah. No, with 45. Okay. Yeah. Right foot forward. Right foot forward. Yeah. Yeah. We're not even trying to push. It's just, imagine sticking something right here. Try that. Now it's almost a bit too close. So give him a little bit more distance, a little bit more distance. Comes forward. Okay. It's a Is good it kick. Your foot? Yes. But mainly it's still much, it's the heel. Okay. Good. One more time. So it takes a lot. So you have the, the kind of the heavy power kick. You have kind of somewhere in the middle. Could be a finish blow, but you have to stop kick, which also takes a lot of practice. So it's more, it's, see the minute, see your body weight. If I do the stop kick, he comes forward. It's very little. So this doesn't move that much, right? He doesn't move that much and you can do your thing. So that's the psyching JKD. So it's not just what you see in the movie. When you, in terms of application, different ways you can practice. Best way to practice is with something like this, a shield with a partner, because the partner can give you feedback. Are you doing good? Are you not doing good? For accuracy, you can have one of those focus pad and have them kick something like this, right? And then you can practice accuracy, your speed, your snappiness, right? Bruce like talk about the snappiness. You gotta snap the kick. From that, hit the heavy bag for power, right? And then also practice with a partner and do all of that. And that's it. That's the Bruce Lee's JKD side kick. Make sure you click on the subscribe button below, turn on notification, click the bell. Remember to click the bell. You have any questions, maybe there are other kicks that you want to see. Let me know when you practice this side kick, what some of the questions you have, comment below, then I can see if I can cover that in the future videos as well. Until next time, be water, my friend. Be water, my friend.